Welcome to this course on Proof and Approve Document with Ease. We'll be taking you on a tour of how you can set up the Proofing and Approvals functionality, how to upload a proof, how to construct an approval route, and how to mark up a proof in the Proofing tool. Let's get started. Proofing and Approvals is a Hive application that can be enabled from the Hive Apps page by Workspace Admins. If this application is enabled, then the Approvals section will be displayed under the Hive Apps area on the action card in your projects. In Hive, a file that can be reviewed and marked up is called a proof. These files can be added to action cards in your project for further review and commenting using the Add Proof button under the Approval section. The proofing functionality supports a number of file types such as PDFs, PowerPoint slides, Excel, Word docs, as well as video files such as MP4s. Please note, after uploading these files as proofs, they can be downloaded as PDFs. You can also upload multiple files at once and they will be combined into one file. URL links can also be added and a screenshot of the page will be uploaded. Additionally, while adding a proof is typically the first step in the proofing and approvals process, adding proof is not required for kicking off an approval route. They can still be started without a proof being uploaded. Next, we can start an approval route in Hive by clicking on the Request Approval button on the Action Card. This will allow you to set up an automated approval route in Hive. The route can move automatically from one stage to the next until the approval round is completed. In Hive, rounds are comprised of stages that make up the route, and generally you can think of each round relating to each iteration or version of the file. Within each stage, you can have a single approver, multiple individual approvers, as well as a team for approval. When an approval route is sent to a team, each member of that team will receive a notification. One user on that team can then choose to click the Review for Team button to take ownership of the review on behalf of the other team members. Once the decision has been made, the team will be notified and the approval request will be removed from the remaining user's queues. Additionally, approval routes can also incorporate external approvers, i.e. those without a Hive account, as long as a proof has been uploaded. This will allow those without a Hive account to review a file and mark it up for feedback. The titles of the stages can be customized, and the due dates can be listed for when the review is needed. Once you have the route in the order that you would like, you can also save the route as an approval template, so that the next time a similar route needs to be conducted, an approval route can be created with a few clicks of the button from the approval route template library. The More button also contains additional routing settings such as when the route will progress from stage to stage, as well as the ability to set up a new approval round. When the approval route is ready to launch, click the Request Approval button. This will send the approvers in the first stage a notification and will list an approval request at the top of their My Actions page with details about the route. If it is your turn to review, you will also see a Review button on the Action Card. Clicking it will present you with a green button to approve and a red button to request changes. It will also display the text Review in Progress next to your name in the route for others to see that you have acknowledged the request and begun your review of the proof. To review the proof, users can click on the image of the proof from the action card, which will take them into the Hive proving tool. The image displays the most recently uploaded version of the proof in order to eliminate version control issues. Users can take advantage of the common capabilities in the Hive proving tool to add comments and markups on the file for feedback. When comments are added, they'll be captured in the comments panel displaying who made the comment and the timestamp when the comment was made. Collaboration is a key capability, which means that multiple users can be working on the proofing tool at the same time, and their annotations will be displayed in real time on the proof as the comments are added. Once you have reviewed the file and added all the necessary comments and markups, you can make your determination to record your approval decision to approve or request changes. Once everyone within the stage makes their decision, then the route will automatically move to the next stage of review. When the route reaches the end of the round, the file owner can review the changes and incorporate the necessary updates into the next version as needed. Once ready, they can then upload the file onto the same action card and open a new round of review as needed until the deliverable is complete. Additionally, the proofing tool supports the ability to download both markup and unmarked up versions of the proof, do side-by-side -side file comparisons, and the ability 
to copy annotations from one version to the next. Thank you for joining this course on proofing and approving documents with ease. We toured how to set up the proofing and approvals functionality, how to upload a proof, how to construct an approval route, and how to mark up a proof in the proofing tool. Tune in to our next video in the series.